The telescope was invented by Hans Le Boucher in 1608, and Galileo Galilei improved it three years later. Over time, the telescope advanced and now people were able to see planets and galaxies. This invention was a turning point in astronomical and biological science. Without the telescope, people would not have landed on the moon and had not learned about biologies of insects or atoms. But that is why the telescope has revolutionized modern day science and has helped mankind understand the world more. However, let's go back to 1608 in the Netherlands in a small spectacle shop. There are many theories on how this revolutionary day in history played out, but the main theory is that two children were playing with the convex lenses and were able to see up close with one of the items in the shop. Le Boucher saw the children playing with his lenses to start experimenting. This eventually led to the first of a telescope. The amazing invention spread throughout Europe and it eventually caught the eyes of Galileo Galilei, whose full name is way too confusing to pronounce. Three years after the telescope's initial invention, he eventually made his version of the telescope, which was so much better and a lot easier to see through. It was named Galileo's instrument, and this version of the telescope was officially the beginning of telescopes being used in astronomy. After this, there were a few more telescopes. One of the more famous ones is the reflector telescope, invented by Sir Isaac Newton in 1668, and was invented for his work of color. A few years later, and a few more versions of the telescope later, the Gregorian telescope was invented by James Gregory. This was when people were trying to figure out how to make the image not appear blurry, but in 1733, Chester Hall invented the achromatic lens, which was then used to get rid of chromatic aberration. In 1789, the first ever observatory was made by George Ellery Hill, who had previously invented the one meter telescope and then went on to build the largest telescope at the time. Observatories are the main way we get information in current days, so this was a mark in history. But George wasn't satisfied with helping with astronomical history with just that. He then went on to build the Hooker telescope. So even though his 60 inch telescope was still being built, he then started funding a 100 inch mirror. It was controlled by 30 motors, but because it was so big, it took forever to adjust to the temperature. So even though this was revolutionary, there were definitely a few flaws. Eventually, all the work of hundreds of telescope creators led up to modern day telescopes. In 2021, the Webb telescope was made. It looks like a honeycomb, but it was expected to be the successor to the Hubble Space Telescope. It's able to see into other galaxies and was invented to see all the earliest planets in our galaxy. And yet, we're still trying to make better telescopes. Yeah. In 2025, we plan on completing the GMT and the ELT, which are both going to be extremely huge. But what would these huge telescopes be used for? Well, whilst they might seem useless, they will actually be able to see other Earth-like planets out of our solar system, so that way when our planet becomes uninhabitable due to climate change, we can flee to another planet. But of course, they're going to be able to see the earliest planets in our universe. It's impressive how much we've come to just these tiny little telescopes once they are over 34 feet. But we should go back into the lives of our inventors just to see how the telescope evolved into modern day telescopes. Hans Le Boucher, also known as the first ever inventor of the telescope, was born in 1570 in Russell, Germany. However, he then moved to Middleburg, where he got married and settled down, while also opening his own spectacle shop at the age of 24. His invention of the telescope spread throughout Europe, however, 11 years after inventing the telescope, he died. Despite this, he was able to be known in history and respected for his invention. Sadly, we were unable to find any quotes from him. However, on a different note is Galileo Galilei, who has a ton of famous quotes. Galileo was born in 1564 on February 15th in Pisa and died in 1642. He went on to do many things like be a math tutor before going to make his telescope. One of his many famous quotes is, you can't teach anybody anything, only make them realize the answers are already inside of them. Because of the telescope, we were able to learn more about other planets, other galaxies, black holes, and more about the universe and planet we live on. We were able to study marine life because of the fact that submarines use telescopes to be able to see, along with the fact that telescopes were used in military conquest, research of atoms, and hunting. This is why telescopes have and will continue to improve society, and this is why the telescope is a true turning point in history.